Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, sorry for the video quality. I just want to shoot this video up real quick because I didn't want to waste no time getting up a high def video that'll take all afternoon to upload to YouTube with my internet connection. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys. Uh, I want it to be an unboxing video. I'm going to label it as an unboxing video, but I have already opened them up. Uh, and that was because I wanted to get started downloading already the content that came with these two games that I just picked up. One is Battlefield, that company. Two, I did get it for the PS3, even though I said I was going to get it for the 360, uh, because I have more friends that were picking it up for the PS3 than the 360. And that's the benefit of having all the consoles, is that you can pick whichever version you want uh, to play with the friends you want to play with. So most of my friends were getting it for the, the PS3, because uh, I have a lot of friends who have PS3s and not 360s for whatever reason. Uh, and decided to pick it up for a limited time. When you do pick it up, uh, for the first shipment of games that uh, EA sent out, are all limited edition. Uh, meaning you pay the regular edition price, but you do get the limited edition, which includes uh, six multiplayer unlocks. I believe four of them are like vehicle unlock perks, and the other two are weapons. Um, one is the M1A1 Thompson, like a World War II style gun. And the other one's a pistol, M1 or M4 something one pistol. Uh, it's a pretty good pistol, and the the Thompson's pretty good as well. Uh, here it is. This is the inside of the box. There's the game itself. It doesn't have that decorative logo design that a lot of PS3 games have been coming with that have the background. Um, booklet. It's kind of thin. Uh, comes with your VIP code. Uh, it comes with this, the serial number is on the back. You use that number in the game store within the actual game itself, and that gives you VIP status, which unlocks those six unlocks for you. Uh, aside from that, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the pre-order bonus, because I did get another paper, I had it here somewhere, uh, that gives you a squad rush mode and a AK-74U uh, assault rifles, like a silenced AK-74. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to get that. I don't know how. I've looked online. No one's really been able to give me an answer. So yeah, uh, quick impressions. I have been playing it for just about you know half an hour or so. Is uh, it's gonna be kind of controversial, but definitely better than Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Just gotta tell you guys, just like that, off the bat. And you know how much I love Call of Duty. And I just picked up Mag, and this murders both those games. Definitely murders them both. And I have a lot of people commenting saying, no, Call of Duty's better, EA sucks, Battlefield sucks. You know what? I've been playing games for a long time. I've played all Call of Duty since the original one on the PC. I've played all the Battlefield since Battlefield 1942. And this is the best Battlefield to date, and this is the best shooter your money can buy right now on the market. Regardless of what the reviews say, it was very close to Call of Duty, like four-tenths of a point. It got like an 8.9. Call of Duty got like a 9.4. It, it comes as a preference, but the amount of gameplay and the type of maps and the vehicles and the unlocks and how long it takes to rank up is going to make this game last way longer than Call of Duty did. Controversial, I don't care. I'm coming out and saying it just like that based on 30 minutes or 45 minutes worth of gameplay. It's better. I'm already tired of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And I got tired of it after the first three weeks. Not even three weeks. Um, I mean, in Call of Duty, you can rank up three times in one match when you first start off. I just got to level two, and it took me almost two, two and a half matches to even get to level two. So, there you go. Other game I got is MLB The Show 2010 for PS3. Uh, I've been stacking up on PS3 games lately. Love sports games. Love MLB The Show. If you're a baseball fan or a sports fan, probably the best baseball game. Uh, to date, just improved on 09, things that it needed to improve, and probably the best sports game to date as well. And there really is much competition because the basketball game series have been slacking the last couple of years, and Madden this year just, you know, came at the top of his game, but even that cannot top the show. And a lot of people don't like baseball games because they say it's boring or they just suck at them, but if you're looking to pick up a sports game or a baseball game this year, can't go farther than this. I do have it in the console right now, so I don't have the game in 
Uh, but here's what it looks like inside. Joe Maurer, the cover athlete, does have that decorative design in the back that Battlefield does not have. Um, it came with, when you pre-order it and you pick it up at GameStop, you get a little flyer that gives you uh, six classic stadiums you can download. So I'll be downloading those later. Uh, but aside from that, nothing much else, guys. I wanted to do this unboxing for you, even though I didn't unbox it on camera. Uh, you guys can hit me up on PS3. I'll be playing Battlefield for months. I can tell you off the bat, this is what I'll be playing for a while now. I do feel bad because I just got Mag and I love Mag. The amount of, I won't trade in Mag just yet because it does have 256 players online. It does get crazy. It's just, I don't know. This right now, top of the game. They really, you know, they really took their time. They really did what needed to be done uh, to enhance the original. And they did it. And the fact that you get the limited edition for the price of the standard edition for a limited time, you know, why not? 59 bucks. I basically took, I had two copies of Call of Duty. I had one for PS3, one for the 360. I traded in the PS3 version, and GameStop has a deal right now where you're getting 50% more for your trading uh, trade in, plus a 10% card that I already have for the, uh, the Edge card. I got 60% more for my trading, so I got $40 for Call of Duty, and I paid... I think it was 50 for it used because I bought it used for the PS3. So basically got all my money back and was able to pay off this and pick up this. And I'm happy. I mean, you guys cannot go wrong with call with Battlefield. This is not my review. I will be probably doing a review later on, but you cannot go wrong. I cannot stress it enough how much you should pick up Battlefield by Company 2. Uh I wanna thank you guys again for subscribing. My thousand subscribers. Hopefully the show is kicking on. And thanks again, guys. Rate, comment, please subscribe, and follow me on Danny AR10 at Twitter. Thanks a lot, guys.